graders, another day of Number Corner with Miss Gansko here. We will start out with our date today. So say it with me. Today is a Thursday. It's a thrilling Thursday. It's also their last Thursday in April. It is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. So just remember, today we will also be doing Friday's Number Corner, which will introduce us to a brand new May calendar. So excited for this one. It has a lot to do with Tad and hopping around the 120 chart. But before we go on with the rest of our Number Corner today, I wanted to wish Delilah from Miss T's class a happy birthday. Congratulations, Delilah, on turning another year older. We wish you a happy birthday. So with putting in our date for April 30th, while I am putting on the date, I want you to make a prediction based on some of the patterns that we see over here. What do you think is gonna be on that core card? Or what could we do with that shape? So I'm gonna put in the date. You keep thinking. And we need a drum roll, first grade drum rolls. Flip that over and we have the letter L. We have the letter L. I'm gonna zoom in here so we can see that letter a little bit larger. And looking at that L, we do have some straight sides. So let's go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we do have a six-sided shape and a six-sided shape is called a, that's right, hexagon. So we're gonna put letter and that it is a hexagon with six sides. Hey, looking over at our shape for today, can we fold it with equal parts? So let's look over here at our crayons, let's draw where we could have a fold. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a line of me folding it right in half. Is this top portion congruent with this bottom portion? No, first grade, it is not. It is not the same size or same shape. So we will go ahead and erase that fold line. It is not going to work. So let's try the other way. Let's try folding it this way. And do we have both side to side, left and right, congruent shapes? No again. So our letter L for today, our hexagon, six-sided, is cannot be folded with any equal parts. So we will put an X in the zero folds with equal parts. So knowing those lines that were there, can I have this letter L shape? Can it be said to be symmetrical? Meaning near both halves are same size, same shape. And no first grade, it was not, it did not look like that butterfly where it had that mirror image. So we put a no in there for today. So remember, we are also going on to our May calendar today. So let's look what our May calendar looks like. And we are going to flip over our First of May, we are doing Fridays today. We will flip over our card to see what is on there and what we will be tracking for this new month of May. Looks like we have some writing. We're going to 
make it larger so that we can all read it first grade. And here it says, here comes Tad. Remember, Tad is that frog that we've been hopping around in class. Ready to explore. What did he see on 20 plus four? So Tad needs to be on the number 20 plus four. If we look here at our chart with 120, we can find what number was 20 plus four. Well, 20 is two tens, so we're on 20 here, plus four, let's count up, one, two, three, four, our number is 24. And for the month of May, what color is our card? It is orange. So since it's orange, we are going to color in the 24 orange. To keep track. So there I've colored in the 24 orange and tomorrow this will be our starting point for May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. First grade we are going to go on to how many days of learning we have done. Let's start by counting by ooh 25s. We're going to do the smaller squares here within the 100. Let's count by 25. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, now by ones, 151, 152, and one more for today marks 153 days of learning. Let's mark that on our chart here. We add 152, what do we need to change in this number to make it say 153? Oh, you guys are so smart. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Nice job. We need to change this two into a three. So I'm going to go ahead and erase. And put in the three. Now looking over at my drawing here, we have 10 tens, which says 100. We have five tens here, which says 50, and we have two ones here that say two. So with our math genius brain, what do we need to add here to make it say 153? We need to add another ones. Nice job, first grade. So now our picture says 153. Looking over at our expanded notation, our equation here, this equation does need to match our picture. So what do we need to change in our equation from yesterday to make it equal or the same as 153? That's right, we need to change the two to a three for the ones place value. So we're gonna put a three in there, equals 153. And looking at our subtraction, remember we were finding the difference between 200 and the number for today of how many days we've been in school. So let's go back to our chart and let's count our difference. Remember this whole column, we count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and to the black line is 45, and by ones, 46, and 47. So we now have a difference of 47. We will erase and put a 47 down equals or the same as 153 days in school. Make sure first grade to write down your equations to share with your parents or your teachers of how to make the number 153. With our popsicle stick collection, today is our last day of collecting popsicle sticks. So remember, we have collected 11 popsicle sticks this week. Let's go ahead and erase 
And then we'll put down 11 so we don't forget where we started. And drum roll, first grade. Drum roll, I'm mean, gonna add today four. We're gonna add four more popsicle sticks. So count with me. One, two, three, and next one we will close the door to make four. And that is a complete five. So let's count our popsicle sticks. Remember, if the door is closed, that is a group of five. Let's count. Five, 10, 15. So we have a total of 15 today. We added four and 11 plus four more equals 15. Let's look over here at our number rack. Let's put it all back to the beginning. Make sure we have it a good starting point. And I want to make 11. That was our first number. So I'm going to slide the whole top row, that's 10, all the way over and add one more to make 11. Now if I add four more, so here we have one, well, the rest of the whites is, there's four there, that would make five, so I'm gonna slide that over. And here I have 10, and five more is 15. So we know that 11 plus four and 10 plus five equal the same number, 15. Okay, so we are gonna write down our number for the end of the week. 15, we've had 13, 21, 16, and 15. With those numbers that we have collected, I'm gonna add our 15 here. We are going to put them in sequence again, in order from smallest to largest. So looking over at our numbers here, what is the smallest number that we have? Point with your finger. That is correct. It is the number 13. So go ahead and write that down with a comma. Remember, we're putting a comma in between the numbers since we're making a list. And I'm going to cross this one out since we already used it. Now we're thinking what number would come next on our chart? 13. Ooh, I see a lot of you guys pointing to the number 15. The number 15 would come next in line. So I cross that out and don't forget your comma there. Okay, between 21 and 16, which would, would, would come next on our number line? 16, go ahead and write 16 down with that comma. And our largest number is 21. So week two, when we collected 21 popsicle sticks, that was the most. And when we collected only 13 popsicle sticks on week one, that was the least of the bunch. Nice job, first grade. And again, Happy birthday, Delilah. So glad that you're turning another year older. And I will see you guys on Monday. We will do this weekend's and Monday's number corner. Bye, first grade.